Hello and welcome to the PC Michiana Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and we are on the free software series where I show you software that's free for all walks of geek life. <laughs> First thing you want to do is go to PCMichiana.com. I have all these downloads in my download section. All my downloads in the download section, by the way, are all either freeware or open source. This one's actually going to go really quick today. Just scroll down to the CPU-Z processor monitor. This is actually a really cool utility that I actually found through Gigafied. Then just select it to download it. And then when this comes up, what you want to do is you want to select the CPU-Z 1.53 setup, English. And then obviously you want to save it. Scroll down and then open it when the download is complete. Run through the installation. Click Next. Accept the agreement. Of course, read it. <laughs> Then select next again, next again, and of course you do have to install the Ask Toolbar, but that's fine. We can uninstall that pretty easily through the control panel and click next. Excuse me. Create a desktop icon, click install. Once the download's complete, just go back to your desktop, double click on CPU ID, CPU Z, and it'll scan for your processor and all your other information on your computer. It tells you the name of your processor, tells you the socket type. For those of you who want to upgrade your motherboard, you don't know what socket you have. It gives you your current voltage. This is also great for overclocking. You can see your current core speeds and the multiplier that it's running at. And you also have the bus speeds. And obviously, it's not just for your processor, which the CPU-Z monitoring and is kind of misleading because you, you can monitor your cache as well, but you also have all your some motherboard specs, not all of your motherboard specs. Actually, it's very limited in the number it gives you. You can check out your memory specs. Um, SPD is basically a more detailed information on what slot your memory is in. Here's your PC2-5300. It even gives you the manufacturer and the part number of your memory. Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. I'm learning more about this software as I'm doing a video on it. How awesome is that? You can select the slot that your memory's in, and I only have one stick, so that's, <laughs> that's all I get. But uh, PC2-5300, this max bandwidth is what you're going to need to upgrade your memory, so that's very, very useful information. Your graphics card information tells you your core, your shaders, your memory, and it gives you the size and memory of what you have, the type of memory it's using, obviously the name and model. As you can see, if you're doing working with any computer, this is an awesome tool to have, especially if it's a custom built one because you can check all the specs. It's also great for overclocking. So that's all there is to this episode. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings. And just so you know, this doesn't work with every processor. You're always going to run into a situation where it doesn't always work. But hey, the price is right. Thanks again.